Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kerbal Space Program, the supreme space simulator that sends little green men hurtling through the stars and then crashing back to Earth in a massive and horrific fireball. I've played Kerbal a couple of times and there are a few videos of my previous attempts. Oh my goodness, that's terrifying. <laughs> Look at them. They're, uh, that's, yeah, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think now that the game's in full release, it's about time to get back to it as they've added a lot of new things and a lot of things have changed as well. So, hopefully you'll enjoy the series as we reach for the stars and climb every mountain high. That's an S Club 7 song, isn't it? But regardless, let's get stuck in. Now, it looks like... We have a very Spartan vehicle assembly building, and I've even got a little flag on the side of my capsule, see, it's pretty cool. Uh, no fuel tanks. A flea solid rocket booster. Clip that on there. Yeah, that probably isn't going to be setting the bar too high. I was saying reach for the stars a minute ago. Be lucky if we can get off the launch pad with that thing. It looks like a cigarette stub. It, it just, uh, that's, that's just bad, that's just, it's not even bad, it's just sad. Yeah, okay, so the stub mark one is what we're going to call it. Let's save here, and give it a shot. Who's in the hot seat today? Oh, it's, it's Jeb, oh uh, dear, that, that launch pad doesn't inspire too much confidence, does it? There's a little scorch mark, and then... You know, it, it looks like something just flew up about 50 feet and then crashed down and blew up. Oh dear. Poor fellows. Right. Well. Three. Two. I got bored. Let's go. Oh. Oh, that's that's not good. That's not a good start. <laughs> this is this is quite a bad start. I, I, I screwed up my groupings, didn't I? Oh, we'll take two. One thing about this series that I uh, will make a note of, that if a Kerbal is killed, the dead. If we do something silly like deploy the, the parachute as we launch, then we'll restart just as long as the guy isn't killed. But, you know, if, if, he's, if he's dead, then the Kerbal's dead. Right. Blast off! Oh, world first speed record, 300 meters a second achieved. Jeb's loving it again. I mean, you know, if I was in his position, I would have soiled myself at this, but... Right, observe the mystery goo. It's jiggling and wobbling still. That's good to know, but is it not jiggling and wobbling in a different way, given how fast we're going? I mean, we were kind of on, like, a slow and easy descent then, and it was still jiggling and wobbling. We'll see. We'll have to see. Still, we're doing somersaults as we come down. Barrel rolls are pretty cool as well. But yeah, I'm going to assume that Jeb's going to survive this. So, let's pull the chute now. Now, the rocket is kind of pointing the wrong direction, isn't it? Nose bit down. That's uh, always quite alarming. I can't help thinking that this is a bit anticlimactic. This is the first rocket that the Kerbals have ever launched. There should be new screws here and, you know, stuff. It's our space center, we're home. Let's observe this goo. Right, keep the data. The goo seems bored. And let's do a little EVA. Right. Hop out. Come on. Ah, oh, you nearly, you nearly. Is that how light it is? It's essentially. An empty coke can now. EVA report. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? Maybe. Right, well, congratulations, Jeb. You you haven't died in your first launch. I mean, we, we did goof it up a bit by launching the parachute as we took off. You know, we're not going to get very far doing that, but... All in all... Good job. 
Well, seeing as we've just completed a very successful uh, mission <laughs> to what, you know, 5,000 meters above the place, I think we should probably recover the ship and ca uh, bank in on the science that we've got. I'll recover that as well. Cool. Jobs are good. Un. Right. Research and development. So there's basic rocketry we get. A Reliant liquid fuel engine, a hammer solid rocket booster, and an FLT-100 fuel tank. And in engineering we get a Mark 1 cockpit, a Science Junior, a Communitron 16, and a TR-18-8 stack decoupler. Alright, well let's get that, because that's only five science, that's nice and cheap. Let us go and spend our monies with the new stuff. So we've still got the Mark 1 command cockpit, uh, a command pod. We can have a Mark 1 cockpit, but that's a bit unnecessary given that this is a bit of a, a crappy little rocket. Uh, let's see. Probably definitely want a stack decoupler at some point, but we do have a science junior now. So that should greatly improve our research abilities and we definitely want that to come back in one piece because if it doesn't I am not going to be amused. Uh, structural. Do we think we need another parachute on this? Do we need another parachute? I'll take a pass for now. Ah yes, a liquid fuel tank, a reliant engine, stack decoupler, and a solid rocket booster. Make that five solid rocket boosters. Right. Stub Mark II save, let's go. What? Oh, it's, it's too heavy, unable to launch, okay. I suppose we'll make it for solid rocket boosters. Please tell me that this one will launch. Yay, it did. Well, Jeb, I hope you packed a clean pair of pants. You're going to need them for this. Hold on, is am I groupings correct? Yes, they are. Let's go. This is daft. This is this is ridiculous. 400 meters a second. 500 meters a second. 600 meters a second. Ah, oh, we've just set a load of new records! 11 kilometers. No! No, we've, we've lost stability! We're wigging out! We're gonna be okay. Right, well, let's see. Let's see how high up we can go from this. Are we gonna make 30 kilometers? Please tell me we make 30 kilometers. That'll be one hell of an amazing second flight. Yes! Look at that! That is amazing. Might even make 31. No, no, we made 30,737 meters, I think. That's definitely very respectable, though. There's bits of us still like 18 kilometers below us. Oh no. Oh no. Well, this is going to be inevitable, isn't it? Uh, let's. Can we do EVA? Cannot disembark. Well. Jeb, you were insane to do this. You were absolutely bonkers to get into something that I'd built and then have yourself hurtled through the uh, through the atmosphere. And now, well, yeah, you're about to pay the price. I'm awfully sorry. Goodbye, Jeb. <laughs> oh man, that was bad. There's still bits of us crashing to Earth. Okay, mental note. It might be a good idea to consider putting more parachutes on and maybe some air stability, just in case. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Good grief, everything's blowing up still!